It was a story that really touched so many people. A Metro Atlanta family forever changed after a gunman burst into their business, killing three people. And now that family is speaking openly about how that tragedy has impacted them. Our Tori Cooper is live this noon in Coweta County, where about two hours ago, the Hawk family spoke out publicly about how this has touched them. Tori. Good afternoon, Gravier. This really was our very first time hearing from Richard Hawk about what it was like losing his only son, his mom and his dad all at once and what it's been like trying to move forward. The, the initial feeling was this didn't just this hadn't happened. This is not real and it's not it's not real and that's my baby boy laying in there. Richard Hawk's heart was shattered when he opened the door to his family owned lock, stock and barrel shooting range and found his 18 year old son Luke, his mom Evelyn and his dad Tommy all shot to death inside. And then I went to questioning God why. Less than two weeks later, police arrested 21 year old Jacob Christian Muse in connection to the triple murder. Police say Muse stole dozens of guns and the camera DVR system from inside the range, making it possible for the GBI and the ATF to trace the weapons back to Muse. Richard says Muse was a customer he didn't know but he has a message for him. I want to tell him about the Lord because I, I don't think he knows him. And I want to tell him who Jesus Christ is. Richard says his son Luke was on his way to college. His mom Evelyn was a strong Southern woman. His dad Tommy, a sturdy trusted shoulder many leaned on. The community support helping the Hawks piece their hearts back together. To see the love and support we've gotten as it takes one of those little pieces and puts it back in place. The Hawks say getting a suspect in custody is their first step towards justice. When you live your life for God, there, there's no evil that can be done. It's God's in control of it. And he will, God will get his revenge in the end one way or the other. Vengeance is his, it's not ours. Now, police remained very tight lipped about this investigation and they would not comment on how they were able to trace these weapons back to Muse or if he acted alone. As of right now, there has not been a court date set for Muse, but he is awaiting indictment. We are going to be keeping a very close eye on this case and we will bring you the very latest right here. Reporting live in Coweta County, I'm Tori Cooper, CBS 46 News. Tori.